adding and subtracting integers, this time using algebra tiles. Our key concepts to remember, number one, the sum of an integer and its opposite is zero. For example, three and the opposite of three, which is negative three, three plus negative three equals zero. Number two, if we are using the same sign for adding, then we have positive plus positive equals positive and negative plus negative equals negative. So adding the same sign results in that sign for the answer. Number three, when we're adding different signs, we first find the absolute value of each integer. We subtract the absolute values and then the sum has the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. Number four, when we are subtracting an integer, we can do so by adding its opposite. Adding integers using algebra tiles. We're going to use this uh, white square with the black outline to represent positive integers and this red square to represent negative integers. You will uh, see similar colors used when we use algebra tiles in the classroom. So if we have a positive one and a negative one, they are opposites. And a positive one plus a negative one, we're adding the opposites, so it creates a zero pair of which the value is zero. So one plus negative one is a zero pair, the value is zero. Find two plus negative five. First of all, we're going to model the sum. So here we have positive two, then we're adding negative five. One, two, three, four, five. They are negative, so negative five. The second step is to group and remove the zero pairs. So if we have a look at the zero pairs, we have a positive one and a negative one here. And we have a positive one and a negative one here. So we're going to group those and remove them. And then we are left with negative three. These are negative and there are three of them. So two plus negative five equals negative three. Find negative eight plus three. First, we're going to model the sum. So we have negative eight, five, six, seven, eight, plus three. So here we have positive three, one, two, three. So first of all, we're going to group and remove the zero pairs. There are three zero pairs. So if we group those and remove them, we are left with five negative tiles. So negative eight plus three, equals negative five. Subtracting integers using algebra tiles. Number one, five subtract four. So first we're going to model them. We have five positives, one, two, three, four, five, and we want to subtract four of them. So what we are going to do is we are going to get four positives and remove those, and we are left with one positive. So five subtract four equals one. Similarly, we know that if we are subtracting an integer, we can instead add its opposite. So let's have a look what that looks like. So instead of having five subtract four, we can add the opposite of four, which is negative four. So now we have five plus negative four. So we would start by modeling one, two, three, four, five positive, and then we are adding negative four, one, two, three, four. So we can group and remove the zero pairs. There are four zero pairs, one, two, three, four, and we are left with a positive one. We have the same answer. So when we subtract an integer, we can get the same answer by adding its opposite. Now to check this, we also want to go back to our key concept of um, when we are adding different signs. So we have a positive number and we are adding a negative number. So we follow our steps. First of all, we are going to find the absolute value of our integers. The absolute value of five is five. The absolute value of negative four is four. 
then we are going to subtract those integers. 5 subtract 4 equals 1. And the sum will have the sign of the integer with a greater absolute value. And in this case, the integer with the greatest absolute value was 5, and it is positive. So 5 plus negative 4 equals 1. Number two, find negative six, subtract negative two. So first of all, we're going to model. We have negative six here, and then we are going to subtract. Now we can subtract negative two by just taking two of these negative tiles away. And we are left with negative four. Okay, similarly, we know that if we are subtracting an integer, we can find the same answer by adding its opposite. So instead of subtracting negative two, we're going to add the opposite of negative two, which is positive two. So now we have negative six plus two. So we'll model that. We have negative six here plus positive two. So we would start by grouping and removing the zero pairs and we are left with negative four. Find three, subtract five. So first we model, we have our three positive tiles here. And in this case, there's not enough to subtract. So we add zero pairs. We can't take five away because we've only got three there to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to add zero pairs. So let's add a couple of zero pairs. And when we add zero pairs to a number, we are not changing its value. So if I've added two positives, I need to add, I need to also include two negatives. And that way they cancel each other out and they do not change the value of the number. So let's have a look now. We have three subtract five. My value here is still three because I've got positive three and then I just added two zero pairs that didn't change the value of my number. So now I have enough to subtract five because I have one, two, three, four, five here. So what I'm going to do is subtract those and I am left with negative two. So three subtract five equals negative two. Similarly, we go back to our original concept of when we are subtracting an integer, we can find the same answer by adding its opposite. So instead of subtracting five, we're going to add the opposite of five, which is negative five. So now we have three plus negative five. We're going to model that. We have one, two, three positives, and we're adding negative five. One, two, three, four, five, that's negative five. So again, we just group and remove any zero pairs. And in this case, we have three zero pairs. So remove those and we are left with negative two. So three plus negative five is negative two.